In focus tonight, the gender pay gap, or is it? Women have been catching up to men in the workforce, but according to liberal Democrats, they get paid a lot less for doing the same work. But what is the real story? With me now, Gretchen Hamill, director of public notice and TV personality, Leanne Tweeden. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Uh, this is the big mystery, right? Are wi women really, are they, they just struggling along, yeah. waiting for, right, Gretchen? Yeah. Waiting for the government to help them it, out, Exactly. Right? I don't know about you, but I could not get out of bed this morning without <laughs> Vice President Little help. Biden. I mean, I called him, and he coached me, and I got up. But, you know, <laughs> this, this is what's going on right now, is that women are going to be the holy grail of this election. That's what they were called in 2008, especially single women. So anything either party can do right now to talk to those women, they are doing. And this this is just another another political gimmick is happening. Leanne, I want to read you this quote from Biden. Here, this is the vice president on women and all the help they need, okay? Was his wife success? Thanks to government. He says both wives are smarter than both of us. Literally, these very accomplished women would not have had a chance without some help. <sighs> You know, I just don't like the, the fact that he's publicizing this and making it political because we're getting near the election. I'm sorry, both of those women are very privileged, educated women, yeah. smart. She's a doctor of education. Yeah. You know, Michelle Obama's a lawyer. Please don't make them feel like the poor little woman that, that can't get a job. I mean, that offends me as a woman. I've worked very hard in my career. I'm in sports, so I'm around competing with guys in a male-dominated business. I've done pretty well in my life. I've been very fortunate, and I'm not complaining that I don't make enough money. I think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I want to talk about some of those dollars, though, because the big debate is exactly how much do women make. And, you know, everybody talks about the 77 cents on a dollar compared to men that women make. Right. But if you really parse this out, it could be different. There are other numbers out there, like 86 cents on a dollar when you look at hourly wages because more women tend to work part-time. Do we yeah. have the number wrong, Gretchen? I mean, that's what they talk about. They talk about when you dive into the data, you have women who have taken off time to raise their family and have come back. Of course, they're going to be earned less because they were taken out of the, uh, the employment sector for a while. So there are a lot of different ways to look at this data and to divide this data. But I think this war on women is just a false war. And I think the Senate Democrats need to look before they start pointing fingers because they're not paying their women staffers uh -huh. as much as they they say they should be. I want to get you guys to respond to what some of these Dems had to say. The menage a trois Democrats. Can we play that song? It's time for Republicans to stop denying the reality that millions of women face every day and work with us to give women the pay equality they deserve. Women are mad as hell and they don't want to take it anymore. How the Republican side of the aisle could filibuster this bill is beyond my imagination. I don't know what they're thinking. Leanne, what do you say? You know, it's interesting. They didn't get enough votes to stop the filibuster, but to me, I, all of the girls that I know that I grew up with are in the workforce. I've never heard one of my girlfriends complain about gender pay. To me, I'm a merit-based person. If you can do the job, then you should get paid for it. I, it's not a, a man versus woman thing to me. And that, I think that's what kind of makes me mad. You know, I'm more mad about that than, you know, maybe uh, I don't make quite as much money as a guy who they think is doing better. Well, I'm going to go and do the job and do it better than him, so I will get a pay raise. I love that. Okay, you know, you look at this issue, and we've talked about it a lot, Gretchen, you and I. I, I I just can't get past the fact that we already have laws on the books. Yes, about, right. If you want to sue, you can. Hello. There's a law. <laughs> and out plenty there. of people do. Yeah. The Lily Ledbetter Act was out there passed in, back in 2009. President Obama signed it into law. And you can actually, you know, take this to court and file for equal pay. And there was also another bill back in 2007 that Hillary actually sponsored, and it failed to get, go anywhere. But we have books. We have laws on the books about this. So. I, I just don't know what this is really about. And let's remember that this is going to hurt small businesses. You know, their people are going to take on less people. They're not going to want to hire new people if they're afraid that there's going to be all these regulations or that people are going to sue previously, previously. And, you know, to me, it's like right now the economy is bad enough as it is, and, and finding a job is tough enough as it is. And, you know, small businesses who actually create a lot of jobs in the business sector are not going to want to do it. So it's not going to help everybody out there who wants a job anyway. Gretchen, aren't politicians just really sucking up to us? Isn't that what's going yeah, on here? I mean, they want our vote, right? Right. I mean, Lily Ledbetter, 2009.